What is up, Autograph Nation? TTM Troy here from ttmautograph.com, and I'm really glad that you're here with me today. This is a video that I've been wanting to do, and that is to tell you what some of my collecting goals are for 2024. And as I go through what some of my goals are, I'm really interested to see what some of your goals are for 2024. Maybe it's to have uh, exceed what you normally get for requests for the entire year. Maybe it's to get, uh, let's say, uh, 50 TTMs from the Texas Rangers, whatever. Let me know down below in the comments what your goals are for 2024, and let's just kind of see where that takes us, okay? But to get right into this video, I just kind of wanted to say my, uh, my first goal, I won't say my number one goal, but my first goal right here on my little card <laughs> for 2024 is to get under 20 remaining for my 1991 Don Russ set. Now that is not necessarily going to be through TTMing because I have a lot of superstars that are still uh, left for that set. So I'm currently sitting, as of today, I need 39 out of 770 cards to complete the 1991 Don Russ set. And that includes uh, George Brett, and includes a. Uh, uh, a few Ricky Hendersons, um, a few Ken Griffey Juniors, and so those are going to take a lot of money and probably a lot of time just waiting for those private signings. But that is one of my collecting goals. I, I mean, obviously I want to get that set completed, but if I could get under 20, which is only 19 more cards this year, I would be pretty happy with that. So that is my number one goal for 2024. I'll just call it my number one goal. My second goal is to be more involved in YouTube video responses and contests and commenting on other people's videos. I know, I know I say that every year. This year, I'm really trying to do that. You know, I have absolutely no excuse other than time and my January and February are gonna be really busy as is my July, I believe. But I really want to get uh, involved again in doing video responses. And in order to do video responses, I have to be watching more videos because there are so many contests and uh, subcontests and whatever going on that I don't actually know about because I am watching uh, different people's videos all the time. You know, I have a core group of people that I watch consistently, but I am subscribed, I think, to thousands of channels. A lot of them aren't doing anything anymore, but I want to get back involved and to keep engaging with you and uh, just, just try to get to know you a little better. So I am trying to do more of that type of thing in 2024, and hopefully it's well received by you. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. My third goal is to send out more requests for uh, TTM autographs in 2024 than I did in 2023. And uh, that will not take very much. So according to my list here on Star Tiger, I only sent out 16, that's one six requests in all of 2023. I kind of took a, a little bit of a break and that is why I'm kind of catching up on 2022 stuff. Um, I do have obviously 16 or 13, whatever, uh, returns from this year that I want to go over with you. But uh, that is why so many things are from 2022 because I really took a break of sending TTMs. I mean, I have like 400 stamps ready to go. I have my TTM fuel almost ready to go. Uh, man, with, with my boxes, monster boxes fell over, that was so bad. Um, but so one of my big goals is to send out more and, and you know, I'm kind of joking that it would only take 17 to send out more. I want to probably hit at least 500 to a thousand TTMs this year, uh, requests. And so hopefully I can do that. I've done a uh, thousand a year many times over the last, uh, 10 years, but I kind of want to get back to that. And yes, that is a lot of money. That's going to be. Uh, those stamps going up all the time. It's going to be a lot of money, but I'm really looking forward to finding out who I can send to, maybe getting into some new cards and years, and just kind of going from there. 
So what are your goals for 2024? Why don't you go ahead and put what your goals are down below in the comments, uh, kind of get some conversation going there. Are you trying to uh, set any personal bests or, uh, or complete a collection? Go ahead and put that down below and uh, I'll be there down in the comments kind of scoping things out, seeing how things are going. But the next th uh, kind of goal I want to do is to revamp uh, this channel, this YouTube channel. I want to get more into shorts and to kind of break up my TTMs both and do both a normal video, which for me is about four or five TTMs per video, as well as do some shorts where I can just break it into like one TTM and kind of do something fun in a minute. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just kind of do a little bit more and a little bit more regularly. So that is a big goal for me in 2024. And hopefully you stay around with me while I do that. And then number five, promote the hobby more. You know, this is one of the things that I've kind of, uh, uh, since I didn't do many videos or sent many things out this past year, I feel kind of bad about. And, you know, there was a year when I wrote my book, Autograph Collecting Secrets, where I was, I wrote my book, I was contributing to Mike the Fanboy. Uh, I was doing all these sorts of things. I was doing YouTube videos. I had like a newsletter for a while. Uh, we had the Autographers Anonymous podcast. Things were going fantastic and we were doing all this promotion and I felt like I was out there all this time <laughs> or all the time. And then I just kind of kind of got a little introverted, to be honest with you. And so I want to be able to promote the hobby more and I probably won't get to nationals this year, so I won't be doing that. But if there is a chance for me to go to more card shows, either uh, locally or in the region, uh, I definitely want to do that. I want to do some more collabs with you guys and uh, maybe maybe host some live videos on Fridays or Saturdays, something like that. I'm not sure. But I, I think that uh, I could do a little bit more in promoting the hobby of TTMs. And, uh, you know, there are some people that think that the more that you promote something, the more people that are doing it, that means the less that you get. Um, that, that's kind of a mentality where everybody's taking things away from you. <laughs> I don't believe that. You know, I think this hobby is big enough for all of us and I really want to promote the hobby more because autograph collecting is not going anywhere. People will be doing it for a long, long, long time. It's not going to go all digital. Yes, there are several players that unfortunately will only do private signings now. I understand. Uh, I may not agree with it 100%, especially if they're doing a private signing for five bucks. What are you doing? Because you're giving the promoter, you know, half of that, whatever. Just doesn't make any sense. Just sign for your fans. Even if they're not fans and they just want an autograph, just sign. <laughs> um, but I want to definitely get out there and promote the hobby more in 2024. So that, those are some of my goals for 2024, and I'm gonna look forward to reading your comments down below. And if you were kind of looking or wondering how to get more autographs in 2024, I just did a video on this, and you can kind of see that. I'll put that up here real quick. I hope that worked. But if you're looking at, uh, if you're wondering how to get more autographs in 2024, uh, I did this special video exactly for that, and I hope you enjoy it. And may our mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.